the princess of Norway, Martha Lewis, daughter of a king, with a lineage connecting her to the British royal dynasty. She was living a happy life with her husband and the royal family. Then suddenly, the news of her divorce is announced. A few months later, her ex-husband committed suicide in mysterious circumstances, leaving behind princesses. In a remarkable twist, Martha embarked on a relationship with a priest and magician of African descent. Known for his claims of seeing angels and possessing the extraordinary ability to restore virginity to girls. Amidst the world's amazement at this relationship, she announced that she had given up all her royal titles and duties for him. What lies beneath the surface of this intriguing connection? Could there be a touch of mystical black magic? To uncover the truth behind this enigmatic relationship, be sure to watch the complete video. And don't miss the opportunity to show your support by liking the video, subscribing to our channel, and hitting that notification bell for updates. Let's continue our journey. Princess Martha Lewis, born on September 22, 1971, is the eldest daughter of the King of Norway and Queen Sonia. She is also the great-grandchild of King Edward VII, who was Queen Elizabeth's grandfather. Her childhood was quite ordinary, growing up with her brother in a loving royal family. Martha was an adored princess who developed a passion for languages from a young age. She pursued her education at Oxford University, where she focused on literature. Later, she continued her studies at the Academy of Holistic Medicine in the Netherlands, where she earned an official degree in physiotherapy. During her time at university, she fell in love with a fellow student named Ari Ben, a Danish national from a prominent and well-respected family associated with Tux College. In 2001, Princess Martha and Ari Ben publicly announced their engagement, and shortly thereafter, they celebrated a magnificent wedding. Martha wore a stunning silk dress adorned with precious jewels for the occasion. The grand wedding ceremony took place in a cathedral, attended by guests from royal families across the globe. The happiness on the faces of the royal family was beyond words, marking a truly unforgettable moment in their lives. From the very start of their married life, Princess Martha and Ari Ben have been a shining example of love and understanding. Together, they embarked on various creative endeavors, co-authoring a distinguished collection of audiobooks and literary works. They also actively participated in the production of radio and television programs aimed at young audiences, all with the noble aim of enriching Norway's cultural heritage. Their love for children became evident when, three years into their marriage, Princess Martha gave birth to their first daughter, Maud Angelica, in 2003. Ari and Martha's love for kids led them to welcome a second daughter in 2005, Leah Isadora, and a third in 2008, Emma Tallulah. Despite the demands of parenting, they remain deeply connected with the people. Ari established a charitable support fund in honor of their daughters, the princesses, to aid children facing difficult circumstances. Thanks to their consistent public presence and close connection to the people, the couple and their young princesses became even more beloved than the Norwegian king and queen. The couple also shared a love for travel. Following one of their trips to America, a sense of shock reverberated throughout Norway, as the nation had come to admire them as role models. The royal palace made a surprising announcement about the divorce of Princess Martha and Ari. They reached an agreement to share custody of their three daughters. The sudden decision left the public in shock. Just a few days later, the world was taken aback when the priest and magician, shaman, shared pictures of himself and Princess Martha, showing expressions of love and admiration. Shaman is not an ordinary individual. He was born in 1974 in America to a father of African descent and a mother of Indian origin. Shaman identifies with his ethnic background and claims to be a shaman, declaring that he is the spiritual successor of his famous priestess and witch grandmother. He proudly discusses this information in his press interviews. Shaman asserts that he can see angels, communicate with spirits, and possesses the ability to restore virginity and heal cancer patients. What makes his story even more intriguing is that he initially began his career as a spiritual healer and worked with prominent brands, designers, and Hollywood celebrities. He had a special program where he met people who had encountered paranormal experiences in their lives. Given all these circumstances, the Norwegian people were taken aback and strongly disapproved of any connection between their princess and the shaman. A month later, Norwegian authorities made a shocking announcement. Princess Martha's ex-husband had been found dead by suicide in his apartment. This news hit Norway like a bolt of lightning. 
How could a man as young as 40 choose to end his life, leaving behind three princesses? His family claimed that the divorce and Martha's relationship with the shaman had indeed affected him. However, his sorrow hadn't reached the point of wanting to end his life. In fact, he had expressed his desire to maintain his relationship with his daughters and continue being there for them to shield them from the impact of the divorce. This raised suspicions, prompting a deeper investigation into the cause of his death, but no conclusive results were reached. What struck everyone as even more unusual was that Martha didn't attend her ex-husband's funeral, even though her presence would have been expected, at least as a show of support for her daughters. Strangely, she didn't attend the funeral or any events afterward. Instead, she continued her normal life with her lover on one of the islands, while Queen Sonia took care of her daughters. As anger surged throughout Norway, Princess Martha's behavior was seen as highly disrespectful in the wake of her ex-husband's tragic death. Speculation grew about her potential involvement in witchcraft and sorcery. People began to implore the king to intervene and rescue the princess from the priest before it was too late. However, what caught everyone off guard was the king's unexpected declaration of approval for the relationship and his complete trust in his daughter Martha's decisions. This shift in the king's stance transformed the people's anger into fear of the shaman. Suspicions escalated, with some believing that the royal family might be ensnared in the most dangerous forms of black magic. Despite all the scandals, Martha insisted on having the shaman accompany her during her essential tasks. She emphasized that his presence provided her with a sense of security, and she couldn't bear to be apart from him. This dynamic persisted from 2017 until October 2022 when Martha officially announced her intention to marry the shaman and their engagement photos were shared with the public. The people of Norway vehemently rejected this news, expressing deep concern about the future of the Norwegian throne. Many believed that the shaman had ulterior motives, aiming to exploit royal blood for acts of black magic. Violent protests and calls for safeguarding the Norwegian throne erupted, escalating the situation further. The Norwegian palace found itself unable to control the unfolding events. In an official statement, Martha announced her decision to permanently relinquish all her duties and titles as a princess to marry her beloved shaman. She affirmed that her family supported this choice, and their wedding was set for August 31, 2024. Martha thus became the first Norwegian princess to prioritize her heart over her throne, causing widespread astonishment and strong accusations of being under the influence of black magic. The entire royal family appeared to be subjected to powerful and concealed influences, with the young girls and the throne itself caught in the crossfire. What are your thoughts on these dramatic events? Do you see this as a typical love story, or do you believe the accusations of witchcraft and sorcery hold weight? Please share your opinions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like it, please show your appreciation by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I release new videos.